Pilates Show Mondays outside the Pilates studio, where we take our Pilates brain and body out into the real world. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a supported reading position. So I'm a major, major avid reader. And so a lot of times I have to really be a little bit like Princess in the Pea or Goldilocks to find the just right seated position so that I can really dive into whatever I'm researching or whatever fiction book I'm reading. So if I were to sit, this is one of my favorite chairs in my house, if I were to sit here, eventually what would happen is that I would tuck my pelvis, I would slump, or I would go into a very bizarre kind of twisted pretzel position to try to be comfortable while reading my favorite book. So I have a few props with me that are just out of my house that I find that are really, really helpful in keeping me comfortable in a better biomechanical positioning while my mind is drifting off into uh, worlds far, far away. So first things first, I love to have a little bit of uh, support in the legs. I'm lucky enough that this kicks back, but you could always get an ottoman or you can sit on a chaise lounge or even in bed with a little bit of bend in the knee. So if you're in bed, you might wanna prop up the back of your knees, that would be great. Now, the other thing, I have a few different props here that are my typical props for reading. I know it's a lot, but still, you wanna make sure that you're taking good care of your body. So I have this, pillow, it's not anything fancy, but it's the just right amount of squish that I can put behind me at my low back. Now this gives me just a little bit of a prop forward, so again, I don't start to do that pelvic slump that does not make my body feel very good. And on a cold day or a day maybe after I've been standing and teaching all day, I have my, of course, my warmies. We love these uh, smart spines. I warm it up and I'll put this cervical disc actually at my low back, which feels like a dream. I kick back. This can be a good place for an amount of time. Now I have also my own smart spine pillow that I ha I travel with this. I love this posture pillow. Sometimes I'll put it on my lap and I'll support my arms here if I wanna be upright while reading. But if I'm really feeling super tired, what I'll do is take my posture pillow put it behind me. And the neat thing is that you can move the beads around a little bit. Sometimes I'll even take the arch tubbies and put them behind my shoulders so that I can kick back and read as much as I want without my spine uh, being upset with me later. That's all for today. If you have any comments or questions, you can comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or our forum.